Hi, my name is John. I'm a learning and development manager from Zoom Info. This best practices short is designed to showcase the best tips and tricks for leveraging websites on Marketing OS. So today we're going to start inside of Marketing OS. When you're logged into Marketing OS to find websites, come over here to the right hand side. Look for a tab here, drop down that says buying signals. Give that a click. Click on websites. That will then take you to exactly where we are here. Quite simply, websites is a reverse IP lookup tool. Detects that silent interest that's coming to your company's website. So down the middle here will be that chronological list of visitors coming to our website. And along the left hand side are where all your filters exist. First filter being time. So by default in this dropdown, you're seeing a data set of companies that have come to our website over the last 24 hours. You can go as far back as when this feature was activated. Next filter is called domain name. So this is where you can toggle between the different URLs your company has set this tracking feature on. So you can combine the traffic of multiple or isolate individual websites. Right below that is a way to get a micro when it comes to your outreach or look. So in this account name box, feel free to type in any specific company name. If that company's been visiting your website here, we will find them, identify them here. So let's just say Nike is one of our accounts. So we wanna see if Nike has been checking out our website, what that traffic looks like. Maybe they're a part of my account, list of account names. So here we've identified Nike, most recent visit here, how many unique visits, page views. So if we need to get specific, this is how you wanna do that. And then right below that is another filter called page intent. Now the way this works is it's basically a template you need to set up initially. So what you wanna do is give this a click, click on this bottom option here that says page intent settings. That then takes you to this page. First thing you want to do is just make sure you're setting this up for the correct URL. So like Zoom Info, we have multiple websites. I want to make sure I'm doing it on the website. I have the intent on doing this for, so I'm clicking Zoom Info here. And then along the right-hand side are a list of some web pages that you can associate a value to, an in-market score essentially, right? So when companies are going to our pricing page, our demo page, we're going to prioritize them over others because this is these are good buying signs, right? These companies obviously are gonna be worth focusing in on. So we're gonna associate a higher in-market score. Whereas we have maybe a blog page on our website that when companies go to there, we don't associate as high of a level of an in-market score. So we're gonna key this in and go, okay, people going, companies going to our blog page, we're gonna set low. Companies going to our pricing and demo page, we're gonna give them a higher level of value. Once you're done setting this up, and again, you can do this up for 30 rules. Make sure you hit apply. Now let's go right back into websites now that we set this template up. So we'll go back to this page intent, open this drop down. So now you'll, you'll see high, medium level. So in this very large data set, how many of these companies have been going to our high level at page intent? Demo page, pricing page. So combined traffic on those particular portions of your website is now what we've isolated. Next is a filter called web pages URL. And the way this filter works is it lets you isolate the traffic that's gone to a very particular portion of your website. So it's similar to page intent, but it's more one-off. So come in here under the word contains, there's a uh, search box, type in whatever root word of the web page you're trying to isolate. So let's say we're trying to find those companies budgeting for our solution. We'll type in the word pricing. That then shows up as your top filter. And now we're only seeing a list of companies in the last 24 hours that have gone to our pricing page. So this allows you to get very focused and find companies that are going to specific places. And then right below that, we have unique visits. So this is registering the amount of unique IPs from these organizations that are visiting your website. So how many unique IPs? So you can set minimum or maximum, filter through it based on those numbers, or do the same thing for page views, that column just to the right. So this is letting you know how many different pages they viewed. So for this company, 11 different IPs have visited a total of 406 pages. And then the last thing we're going to look at here is this dashboard view. Easy to overlook just to the right of your list format here on the right-hand side. 
what this does is basically identify trends, sweet spots of this traffic from a firmographic standpoint. So when you click dashboard, you'll see the same filters here to the left, but the view in the middle has changed. So instead of that chronological list, we're now looking at our behavior of that traffic on our website over a time period of 24 hours. We're seeing the companies that have given us the most visits, what web pages are getting the most hits. If we scroll down even further, we start identifying more trends, company insights, what's the firmographic information of the revenue of these companies look like. So here we see Zoom Info has quite a big sweet spot. Companies in that million to $50 million range are the most common visitors. We've identified trends when it comes to the employee headcounts, also the industries. So this is an excellent way to get your hands on the pulse of what this traffic coming to your website looks like. And that concludes our Marketing OS talk. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about websites on Marketing OS. Be sure to check out our other best practice shorts to level up your learning and maximize your leverage of Zoom Info.